back to my channel. Today we are turning a yard amount of material into a cute little dress just in time for a upcoming trip to Spain. Now you may be wondering how is this physically possible because usually dresses take two and a half to three yards on average to have enough material for the skirt. Now in this case I am using the pattern a little bit differently than it is instructed. Now the pattern we are using is called the Bluebell Dress, located on moodpatterns.com. Link will be in the description. This dress technically has a full circle skirt, but today we are only making a half skirt. And the fabric we are using actually has a special little story behind it. 11 year old me raised about $5,000 to go on a mission trip. It was just a opportunity to help people in need to the country of Malawi located in Southern Africa. While I was there, I ended up realizing that Malawi is a large importer and exporter of traditional textiles. So while I was there, being the young sewist that I was, I decided to get as much of the fabric as possible. And for the last six or seven years, I've been hoarding the material and never really using it for anything. So today I thought because we are going to a bright and colorful place, why not make a bright and colorful dress? I'm gonna go ahead and head to the floor so we can lay this fabric out and see how much we have to actually work with. Okay. Option number one is this beautiful swirly fabric, which barely fits all the pattern pieces, and I definitely have to be strategic with them. Besides that, I have this really beautiful fire fabric. By the way, all of these fabrics are wax because they're traditionally worn as skirts in Malawi. And then thirdly, I have this really pretty floral pattern. And then finally, I have this dark green tribal pattern. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these up on a poll on YouTube. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and wait about a week before checking back to see which of the fabrics got picked the most. And then from there, we'll finally start our project. Hey guys, it has been several days since I posted that poll on my channel and here are what the results look like. So these are what our results look like. So it looks like the swirl pattern and the pink botanical garden pattern tied. The lowest ranking one was the fire material and the highest ranking one ironically, was the dark green tribal pattern at the bottom. So now that I've shown you the results, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the material, cut it out, and we will start working on our project. Guys, so the first thing we are gonna do with this project is to go ahead and attach these skirt panels together. Now, like I said originally, I cut the skirt much slimmer than it was supposed to be originally in the pattern, but because we are only using one yard for this project, I thought it would be okay. So I think what the plan is, is we're gonna go ahead and sew a seam here, make sure it fits nicely around my waist, and then from there we will hem the base of the skirt. skirt together, I'm actually going to go ahead and hem the top of the skirt because where there is that cutout in the original design of the dress, there is nothing that is keeping the top of the skirt attached, so it needs to have some form of smooth finishing detail. After a little bit of cutting, this is what the skirt looks like. I had to cut the waistline down by at least six inches, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the bodice portion. However, before we actually start working on sewing the bodice portion together, I do need to go ahead and cut out a lining, which I am cutting out of this plain quilting cotton because I don't want to get creative with the spices and use something that'll make it more difficult to sew in a short time frame. I think I'm going to go ahead and start by working on attaching these together, repeating the same steps with the lining, and then once those are completed, I will meet you back and give you an update. <laughs> So I've gone ahead and sewn a finishing seam along the lines of the bodice and now the plan is to attach the sides of the straps to the back of the bodice so then I can start working on the sleeves. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and sew up that final side seam on the skirt, attach it to the base of the bodice, and then from there we will start working on the closures. Finally, once all is said and done, all we have left to do is attach the sleeves to the side of the bodice. 
Okay guys, so this is what the bodice looks like sewn. And now what I think I'm gonna go ahead and start working on is attaching this to the skirt. Now my plan is to go ahead and start working on the bodice closures. Here are our ribbon strands and now I'm gonna go ahead and attach them to each side of the bodice. And I'm gonna do a little stitch here, fold this over so I can pull on the strings and they will gather. And then once I do that on both sides, all I have to do is tie them at the top to form a circular little loop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on sewing together the sleeves. I've gone ahead and put the sleeves together and now I'm gonna go ahead and attach them to the sides of the dress. for watching if you enjoyed please like subscribe or share i love showing you what i do and i have a ton of new exciting content coming out in the future that being said let's go ahead without further ado to show you our final results